Yeah, life is crazy, bro. I just finished watching my last video that I just uploaded, the last vlog with, you know, all my friends, and you can really see that they really love me. Like, it's crazy, and they care for me and shit. Like, like, that ass. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I'm just sitting here, like, you know, like, thinking, like, it's crazy how, like, from this, I went all the way to that. Like, it's like, literally, like, I literally only had, like, three friends. You feel me? Like, and, like, out of nowhere, like, And now I'm here, like, man, life is weird, man. No cap, you just really gotta, gotta put in the work. You really gotta be positive, you feel me? And like, honestly, I changed. I changed OD, I was really negative before, I'm not gonna lie. But like, I had Corona, like really bad. I thought I was gonna die. And from there, I was like, yo, I took life for granted. And ever since that day, my life changed forever, like, it's crazy. What's good, Avi Wave? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Avi Arga. If you're new to the channel, want to join the wave, the Avi Wave. All you gotta do is subscribe, hit that bell button, and comment down below. I'm wavy. Now, guys, you know I wanted to do this talk for you guys. I actually just finished uploading, so I'm a little sentimental right now. So this is perfect time to talk. So I just finished uploading uh, the last vlog, you know, with my friends and stuff like that, but. Before I get to that, you know, I don't want to make this too, too long and stuff like that, but like I was saying for the apartment tour, because this is ahead of time, you know, like I'm kind of late for my videos, but I'm going to try not to do that anymore. But yeah, so I wanted to talk to you guys about like, you know, being positive and like just things like that, because honestly, like it's, it's just crazy. And I, I have like, it's not my testimony, but like, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, inspire somebody out there that this shit is, is real. Like, I still can't believe I'm here, you feel me? But, so, you know, it might seem that, like, I'm not, like, I'm this flashy guy, like I said, in the apartment tour. Because, you know, my watch and, like, you know, wearing a Supreme shirt right now, my shoes and stuff like that. But that's just how I am, you know? I just really, like, like fashion and I like to present myself nice. And on top of that, like, I just like the community and the hype beast culture, you feel me? Doesn't mean I dress like that on the regular, or if somebody doesn't have my type of clothing, like, I'm not gonna fuck with you or some shit. It's not me, you feel me? I just like to wear that shit just cause, you know, that's just me. But aside from that, um, I wanna talk about, you know, my situation and stuff like that. You know, I'm very blessed, no cap. Like, it's crazy. Shout out to God, Jesus, it's OD. But I wanted to like get further deep into it because you know, it's like I feel like a lot of people when they see someone like leveling up They just start hating and envying and like that's just the wrong type of energy that you want to give out you feel me so Long story short, let me just talk about how I got this new car you feel me so like I did post on my social media, you know, some people might take it like Like you know what I'm saying? Like literally what I just said jealous and stuff like that some people you know, congratulate me, you know what I'm saying? But obviously those people that are jealous are not gonna tell you, so that, this is just why I'm making this type of video, so. Check this out. So y'all know my old car, the red one. It's the same Nissan Sentra SR. I had no problem with it, I was gonna keep it, you feel me? You know, I do like the car. So, like, um, I had to drive here from Texas because my sister was buying my car for a few months, like I explained in another video. So I actually had to drive here. So the AC was working completely fine, but literally the minute, like literally the minute I come to Vegas going down the highway, the AC just doesn't work anymore. So it didn't work for a couple of days. And like, I remember sitting in the car, like and it, is, it was hot when I came here. Like, like right now it's chill. But when I came here that, that weekend, oh my God, like I was breathing humidity, my name. 
You feel me? Like, it was hot. So I remember sitting in the car, like, just like, like dying of heat. I'm like, damn, I was like, in my head talking to God, I'm like, damn, why is this happening to me? You feel me? But not that I was like being mad at him or anything like that. I'm just like questioning it. Like, damn, like, I'm that's about to be here dying with this heat. You feel me? So I was like, damn, like, so pretty much me and my dad, we like try to go fix it. Uh, so like we went to go check what happened and stuff like that. And we tried to put like the coolant and stuff like that, but it wasn't working. So we went to go take it into a mechanic. And what happened was the actual AC unit inside the car was broken, you feel me? So even if you, you could put all the coolant you want, it was not gonna like work, you feel me? So that coolant, right? I mean, not the coolant, the AC unit inside the car, it cost like almost 2,000 to three thousand dollars to just to fix that you feel me and on top of that there was like a little more problems with the car but it was still a good car it was 2015 you feel me so it wasn't that old didn't have that much miles on it but long story short um we went to uh me and my dad were driving right you know my dad he's my dad so you know he was freaking out himself as well because you know he doesn't want to leave me here with no ac in the car especially me like I have like a lot of allergies and stuff like that, especially to the heat as well. So he was very worried himself. So we went to a normal mechanic to check the AC unit and the price. So we were actually gonna go to a Nissan dealer this time to see if it had warranty or if we could try to get some type of deal off or some shit to go like fix it or something, right? So my dad puts the GPS to some Nissan that was 30 minutes away Right, and while we're driving there, literally I see some Nissan that didn't come on to the GPS that was close to us already. It was called Planet Nissan. So when we pull up, like it was like, un I can't make this up. I swear to God, I can't make this up. We pull up, we tell them the situation, right? And keep in mind, like there's, I'm still paying off the car. Me and my dad are still paying it off. There's like 8,000 or whatnot, right? So, like, we pull up, tell them situation, blah, 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 right? Tell me how we walk out of there with a brand new car. It has tints, because out here in Las Vegas, I don't know if you guys know, every car out here has tints because the sun is beaming. AC, right? <laughs> AC. We got two years of free oil change from the Nissan dealership. If my wheels ever get popped or even scratched, I can just bring it in and get new wheels for free, right? And on top of that, on top of that, I didn't have to pay a dime, bro. Like dead ass, like zero money down, nothing. Like literally is like, it's OD. Is it, like I can't make this up. So what happened was I traded in my old car for the new car. And like, yeah, I still owe money on it, right? But this amazing, 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 like guy really helped us out. His name is Lee. Like since, you know, the Corona stuff happened and blah, 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 you know, used cars right now are actually going up in value like a very very high percentage so literally what i had to pay for the car that's how much i traded it in so pretty much i just literally just got like a free car it was crazy like literally that's all i gotta say you feel me so like when i was finally driving out the lot like literally with everything in my mind that just happened like i swear i i was i thought i was dreaming and from that moment when i remembered that i said to myself like damn god like why me I was like, damn, why me? I was like, yo, I, I had no words, you feel me? Just super blessed. You know, I said thank you to God and everything. It's just, it's crazy, you know, like the miracles. It's unexplainable, it's crazy. Like things really happen for a reason. Like my sister was saying, like, it's crazy. Like, think about it. If that never happened in the way it happened, literally so perfectly aligned, I would have still been with the red car right now. And literally the the much, um, the $2,000, $3,000, I could have just paid off the car with that instead of just getting the, like, it's just crazy, you feel me? So, 
that I really wanted to, you know, explain to that. So guys, that being said, you know, don't give up, man. Be positive. Like things happen for a reason. You just gotta, you know, trust, trust in God and trust in the process. Obviously at that moment, you know, I wasn't upset or angry. I was just like, damn, like why, you know what I'm saying? But it's not like I was freaking out or anything, you feel me? I wasn't, I was just chill, normal. You know, there's a problem, gotta solve it. That's it. But that being said as well, you know, I do live in this very, very nice apartment. But I don't really have a story for that one, you feel me? But I do have a story for this. And I know this is gonna be kind of a long video, but I really wanted to like, you know, it's in, inspire or like just plant a seed or something, you know what I'm saying? Change, change somebody, you feel me? Because this is the only reason why I really do YouTube. Feel me? It's not like I'm getting paid, but I'm really not, you know? It's really for fun and just to like, you know, my favorite YouTuber is DDG. And like, exactly what he did for me, I'm trying to do for others, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. I'm gonna upload a video of that too. So, yeah. Sorry, it's a lot of talks right now, but I have to. But I want to talk to you guys about my last vlog video. Like, I was just finished watching it on the TV, and it's crazy that I went from here, right, all the way, all the way to this moment in time right here. Hold on. I have a lot of videos. This moment right here. This moment right here. So, in that moment of time, right? I was gonna take some time to focus. That was like my first actual vlog. And the reason why I did that was because I just recently discovered David Dobrik at that time, which I'm gonna get to that. But, you know, at that time, you know, I'm a different person now for you guys that don't know. The old me was completely different, even though it might not seem like it, but it's crazy. Like, and I'm gonna get to that. But point is, in that time of in that time of my life, right? You know, I discovered David Dobrik, and I was really inspired. I wanted to make videos like that, but I didn't really have that much friends or like fun stuff in my life to really record. You know what I'm saying? But I still gave it a go. I still, you know, was trying. Now. You see, the way life works is is crazy. Like, I I don't I don't know why it is like this, but it's crazy. And it really all starts with you, by the way. Feel me? Like anybody can do anything. It just starts with you. So, right? Like I said, I didn't have that much friends, blah blah blah. But I was still trying, as you can see. You know, I, st I still love my friends that are there. You know. Um, e and Q and uh, CJ. I don't really see them as much anymore because you know we're all doing our thing. But what happened, right? After that, let me see. I uploaded. You know, I kept uploading like videos, you know, trying, you know. Yeah, yeah. So that was like the start. But when corona happened a lot of people don't know this and i don't think i don't even think i even told i think i told like one or two people so when covid happened right i actually got it i actually had covid oh i did i did tell you guys i had covid in one of the videos so i actually had covid but listen when i tell you i had covid i really had it like i thought i was gonna die like it was that bad like I was sick for a whole month. Like it was, it was the worst time of my life. And like I was saying, the old me, like I changed a lot because the old me, you know, I was a very negative person. I was always very like sad all the time, you know? Like that was just my vibe. And I was just like really not in the right mindset at all. And it's, it's crazy that I really like see that now because I was, like with this person right and she would tell me all these things but i would never like really understand what she was saying i would just like trying to change it into my own version and like you know even though like 
she did help me grow as a person of course but like that ass i was just not a bad person but i was just not happy i guess or like you know what i mean like i just it's like i was dead inside like but long story short i had covid and this one time like oh my god like i'm about to cry like i don't know why i would shower right and like right after i would shower i would faint like oh god like i'd have to run to my bed and i'd literally knock out there wet and naked on the bed and it was just like so so hard like but i don't wish that that sickness upon my worst enemy it was so so bad like and for y'all that don't know i only hate like three things in life like really like that i and one of them is being sick like being sick like i is so annoying and for me to like be sick for a whole month with this this pain like i'm telling you when i had covid i didn't have the normal symptoms that everybody had I wasn't coughing, I didn't have fever. What I had was like extreme hyperthermia, extreme like bone and body pain, like, and it, it was just so bad, like, oh my God. But long story short, that happened, right? And I swear to you, like, I just felt my body shutting down and I really thought I was gonna die. So like, I'm just there like praying to God. I'm like, like, damn, like, am, am I really gonna go out sick? like not no jokes aside but like that ass, i really don't like being sick i'm like damn like for real like why like you know what i'm saying like that's what i was saying stuff like that i don't remember exactly what i said but i said that i said things like that that night bro like i can't make this up bro i can't bro that night i was literally like i literally finished fainting bro like so i'm wet ass naked you know what i'm saying on the bed like i just woke up from my faint and i'm like i'm like starting to cry a little bit. I'm like, damn, like, this is crazy, bro. I don't know what happened, bro, but I literally felt the Holy Spirit come to me. And like, it was just this weird feeling. Like, I don't know, like, I just, the first reaction I got was to get on my knees and like start praying. All I was saying was, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because for some reason I was just getting this feeling like, listen, everything is gonna be okay don't worry that's the feeling i got and i just felt this like like this this vibe like it was literally the holy spirit i believe it really was you know god telling me that i'm gonna be okay and i was literally just crying on my knees saying thank you i, I didn't know what else to say so from that night right i swear not even 24 hours the next day valid like i'm starting to feel better bro I wish I had the screenshots, but listen to me. That same night, I was on the grind because I'm like, you know, I haven't worked in a while because, you know, I had COVID and stuff, so I didn't work and I was feeling bad, you know? I'm like, damn, like, I, I need to keep this grind up. Feel me, bro? I made $3,000 in 10 minutes. Let me, let me take off the hat because I ain't capping. I'm gonna put it back on now, cause I like the hat. I made three thousand dollars in ten minutes. I I wish I could show you guys a screenshot, but it's so true. I remember I was there. For you guys that are asking me how I did it, I was drop shipping on eBay. But long story short, I made three thousand dollars like in ten minutes. It was crazy. Like all I see is boom, five hundred, boom, five hundred, boom. I was like. And I remember it was all, I was on the phone with one of my friends and I was just freaking out. So from that point on, like literally, I like, I really like realized so much things like, like being negative and all and sad all that time wasted. Like, like I'm like, damn, I took life for granted. Like life is beautiful. All that time I spent like being miserable for no freaking reason like i could have used that energy and put it somewhere else like so from that day bro from that day bro oh my god changed new person and my life has never been the same like it's literally insane and i really can't make this up and for some proof i'm gonna I'm show you like i said i'm gonna get there but 
there was also things I feel like God was throwing to my face to like keep helping me grow as a person. So it was like I would watch certain movies that I just felt like watching for some reason. And I'm really picky when I come to movies. So this is one movie uh, with uh, that funny guy. I forgot his name. I forgot his name, but like, he's a famous guy. And it's like it was a movie where like he had to say yes to everything. And it was literally like me, like, 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 like literally that movie was literally like my life. Like the guy was sad, negative, like, like unhappy with his life. And then he went to some seminar saying like, say yes to everything, blah, 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 blah. So after he started saying yes to everything, his life changed. He got a girlfriend, got promoted. Like it was insane. So like literally like in that whole week, like I was, things like that just started happening to me. So from that day forward, I told myself, you know, like, like the movie, I was some cliche shit. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna start saying yes to everything. Like, fuck it. Like, even if I don't feel comfortable doing it or I don't want to do it, I'm gonna just do it. You feel me? So that happened, right? And some other things happened, but that ass, that ass, I became more positive. Like so much things like came to me and and it's crazy. I did lose a few things, but I feel like I had to lose those things. You know what I'm saying? Because to elevate, you gotta let certain things go. If it's like friendships, relationships, or like just something that's toxic that you might not think is toxic to you, but it really is. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy. So in that time period as well, you know, I'm a YouTuber. I wanna be like, I wanna get up there and stuff like that. I discovered David Dobrik. Another thing, like literally, I'm there sick watching all his vlogs. Well, I'm getting better at this time, but I'm still like sick. Watching all his vlogs, I'm like, damn, like, I wanna be like that. Like, it's like, I mean, it's David Dobrik. Like, you know, anybody that watches his videos is instantly like hooked, you feel me? So, just to prove to y'all that I'm not making this up, look at this. So this is my Instagram right now. This is my Instagram right now. And let's just go to David Dobrik. Oh wait, actually, I could just screen record this, my bad. Because I know the quality is ass. All right, so here we are. When David Dobrik's thing, right? I need to skip a few things. So let's just start from right here. Look. So look, I was talking to David like if he was my friend. Like, feel me? I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna just DM him like he's my friend. So look, right here. Hey David, update on my video, you know, I had the best time in my life, blah, blah, blah. I sent him uh, one of the most, like, how do I say this? Like my favorite vlog that I ever made because, you know, it shows all my friends happiness. So it's like, to me, that's like sort of like my own version of uh, David Dobrik video. So it's right here, you know, the last vlog of 2020. Had a blast, you feel me? So look, you see right here, January 27th. Right at 12:52 a.m., you see it right there. Right, listen. When I I can't make this up. You see the dates, right? Look, January 27th, 2020. Right, look. Hey David, you may never see this, but I started my YouTube channel and I felt like. The videos I've been making just don't feel right. I feel lost and my sister just told me about your channel. I love your videos and I can't stop watching it. So if you inspired me to keep going, right, on YouTube and just make awesome videos, laughing, having fun, and finding myself as a person. So thank you. It may be hard for me though because I don't have... Look, look, look what I said. It might be harder for me though because I don't really have friends like that but the inspiration is all i need and i'm excited to try oh my god i'm getting goosebumps and i'm excited to try uh new video ideas on my channel thank you look at the date bro 
January 27th, 2020. So literally, I sent this to him the day that I discovered him. And literally when I did it, like I literally did it, you know what I'm saying? Like I was positive, blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? When I literally did it, I had the same urge to message him and and to like get the minutes ran out so I don't know where I left off but like I was saying I messaged him on July I mean January 27th and then after like I actually did it you know what I'm saying I was positive positive person and stuff like that I met I had the urge to message him again and literally I told him like hey update on my life like I did it you know a great time I have a lot of friends now I'm attracting everything to me look at this vlog is my favorite vlog blah 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 and literally it was on the same date the next year bro look at that January 27 like it was literally like this year a couple months ago you feel me so I can't make this up bro and to just to prove it to you I literally messaged it down here I was like yo what the cuz dead ass I was like, I just realized I sent you that last, that message last year on June 27th, and I'm giving you an update on June 27th, and I swear I didn't plan this. I swear, I, how am I gonna remember that, bro? You feel me? And over here, you know, he's going to a, uh, a rough time, so I sent him an update. Like I said, I'm still texting him like he's my friend. But the point of this is, like, I can't make this up. Literally, how, you tell me, and I have the videos to prove it as well. Like literally, January 27th, I message him. Thank you for your videos. You feel me? And then, you know, fast forward next year, I'm making videos like that. I can't make this up. So, you know, moral of the story is, I know I keep talking like that. <laughs> But that ass, that ass. I really just wanted to make this video for like anybody out there that's feeling down or that's feeling envious or jealous, you know, when they see someone leveling up. Because I'm, t I'm here to tell you right now, like for real, like I mean, look, I mean, look, I'm on some real YouTube shit right now, and I, I. I'm pretty sure it's just gonna keep going up. It's crazy, it's crazy, like, like, it's crazy. But for real, I just really wanna make this video. I know it's kinda long, but I really wanted to share it. I really wanna make this video for those people out there, like, listen, I know you're going through a rough time, and I know you don't wanna be the way you are right now, you feel me? I know you don't, because I was there myself. I really was, like, dead ass, dead ass. But listen, Starts with you, bro. That ass. Listen. Stop comparing yourself to other people. You know, stop listening to other people. You know what I'm saying? These people that you think they care about you or your, your friends, you know what I'm saying? Trust me. They not. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to make a change. Don't be afraid to make a move because, listen, at the end of the day, you know, life is short, man. I, I took life for granted. I thought I was going to die last year like for real and like just imagine no knock on wood but imagine i did right look at all this that happened right and i would have never known that if i never changed the way i was before think about that you feel me i would have died sad as hell mad as hell like that as i don't i don't mean to sound a little crazy but it's true like you really gotta think about that sometimes like life is short tomorrow is never promised you don't know if you're gonna wake up tomorrow you feel me you really don't know and it's crazy to really think about that like really think about that like you don't know that my boy you feel me so for real for real you know everybody has a story everybody's going through a struggle nobody's perfect you know social media and stuff like that Obviously, people are going to only show you the good and positive side because that's just how the business works for me. So, you know, don't compare yourself to nobody. Don't compare yourself to, to nobody's journey. You feel me? Like, everybody's journey is different. Like, like I just got here. You feel me? Like, I just got here. 
and I'm 22, turning 23. Yeah, that's kind of old, but I'm still very, very young. You know what I'm saying? Like an example, like DDG moved to LA when he was like 17, 18. BMW penthouse. Of course, people are gonna see that and be like, damn, like I want that shit too. Feel me? Of course, like who isn't? But like I said, everybody's journey is different. You can't com compare yourself to people because if you do, that's just gonna slow you down. It's gonna like, you know, it's just it's just not good. So much negative energy. Instead, you could take that, turn it to positivity and, you know, create your own path, your own journey. And it doesn't matter how fast you're going or how slow you're going. What matters is that you're going in your own pace and that you're happy where you are and that you're positive and you're moving forward and you're also growing as a person. You feel me? So I don't wanna make this video too, too long, but I hope you guys understand from what I said. Like I said, I, I really can't make this up. Like, like I'm here right now, like, and I still can't believe it. Like it's crazy. And I literally just, literally just finished uploading the last vlog with my friends in New Jersey. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, thank you guys for watching. You know, I hope that I at least, you know, inspired somebody, you know, to be positive. You know, and it all starts with you and your mindset. You know what I'm saying? So, be blessed, guys. Stay blessed, you know. Believe in the process, you know, pray, pray to God, cause you know, he's, a, he's the only one, he's the only one that knows, so. And there's a lot of positive, there's a lot of positivity stuff out there, like books you could read and stuff like that, or like YouTube videos just to start off, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, don't force it, let it come naturally, you know what I'm saying? And if you don't understand at the moment, it's okay, cause I was the same way, like I said, like I didn't understand what my, friend was telling me at the time but now I understand now that I can see it differently so it's okay if you don't understand eventually you will all right so thank you guys for watching appreciate it and have a great day be blessed all right you stay blessed I mean stay blessed that's just the way